Bank on Me, the reality show that means business. Coming to you from Scotiabank Skymore Bobbins. Your host, Alex Jordan. Hi, everyone. So good to be back with you for a second season of Bank on Me. Now, last year's finalists have all taken their businesses to the next level and the future is looking bright for them. Since winning the show, I've been able to incorporate my company. I now have staff and working capital and I've been able to expand the amount of fish. I'm installing security. It's been very great. Um, I'm very happy with how my business is going. This season, we will have two audition episodes that will determine which of our eager entrepreneurs go through to the final 12. So there's a lot writing on how they do in their first pitch to the judges. Which is why, before today's auditions, contestants were invited to a workshop given by the Cave Hill School of Business so they could pick up a few valuable tips. This is your two minutes of glory. It is your opportunity to sell your business and your brand to the judges. So you have to pay close attention to you and how you are delivering it. It is not the stage where you use props. So a lot of attention has to be focused on your ability to be clear, concise, precise, and interesting, enthusiastic, and show that there is significant passion in you about your business and what you do and so therefore it comes across to the judges that you are serious about your business show us the passion show us the enthusiasm do you have any advice for a company like a3kd where we have two people presenting um, how we will deal with a situation like that when we're presenting to the judges if both of you in your case are going to speak then we suggest that you stand close to each other you rehearse very carefully what each person is going to say so that you know your cue and the other person is not staring at you and waiting to see where you are and that you are fumbling remember it is only two minutes so it has to be seamless and in between the, the handover from person one to person two there must be no dead time Well, we manufacture a range of spices that capture the way that Caribbean people season their food. You had a workshop uh, before this. Oh, it was very informative. Uh, it taught us a lot about what we need to know for the pitch this morning. So we're just coming out here to do our best. Well, my business is Phoenix Advertising and Marketing Agency, and we're into bargain deals, also supporting local entrepreneurs. You look fantastic. Why, thank you. <laughs> well, it was a friend that said to me, have you heard of this entrepreneurial um, game show? And I said no, and he sent me the information. I put, put forward my application, and hey, here I am. <laughs> I thought it was great because I knew a few persons that were in it, like Raj. So I, I was really into it at that point in time. And I was encouraged by someone to enter this time around. I heard on Bank and Me at BMX 2000 and was it 12 or 13? 13. 13. Well, Alison Saunders was one of the judges and she saw our product and she said, you know, you should enter. But we did not enter that year. And so now we're here. I'm a little nervous, but I, I think I have it down pat. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I'm an IT consultant. Um, information technology, and I have a payment requisition management system. Radix is a young, dynamic production company, and we're excited to dive into, you know, what's brewing up here in the Caribbean and Barbados with shows like Bank On Me, <laughs> you know, that's, you know, proven to be very successful. We know we've got some butterflies, but um, throughout throw the course of the year, I'm sure they're going to go away, so I'm going to be good. I'm not too nervous. I uh, think, you know, got a pretty solid plan in place, so just looking to execute. Did you go to the um, pitching workshop? Yes, I did. It was fantastic. It, oh, yes. Oh, yes. It was very educational. It, you know, even boosted my confidence, you know, and I'm feeling really great this morning. And we actually have a new product that we will be introducing to the market through Bank Me, which is a solar thermal air conditioner. And I came to a, an open day that they had at the mall, and I was encouraged basically by persons who knew what my business was about and they told me you know you should enter because this is a good business it's a unique business and it's a niche market so I said I would enter. Well um, I, I sell at Holders Farmers Market and they have a newsletter and I was informed through the newsletter that um, this option was available. I'm very excited to be here I've gone back and looked at some of the previous episodes and the opportunity is just fantastic. Plenty of good energy here everyone is ready to meet the judges and so are we. Next.
It's been said that behind every door, possibility awaits. How much possibility depends on which door you open first. Every day, we help our customers discover the possibilities in their lives. It all starts with a conversation. Scotiabank. Discover what's possible. This season, we have some familiar faces as judges and some new ones. Joining us for the first time is Eddie Abed, Managing Director of Abed's, a household name in Barbadian retail for over 50 years. And with Eddie's entrepreneurial drive still growing. He's also first Vice President of the Barbados Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Those of you who joined us last year will know that our next judge, Shelley Williams, is founder and owner of Platinum Services, leaders in VIP luxury airport services and the W Salons, and who, like many of our contestants, was an entrepreneur from a very young age. The same can be said for returning judge Richard Haynes. He's business executive and co-founder of Beige International and CEO of South Central Entertainment and Marketing. He has succeeded as an entrepreneur because he understands the need to support creative endeavor with business acumen. Our guest judge this week is Roseanne Myers, General Manager of Atlantis Submarines. We were privileged to have Roseanne with us as a guest judge last year, and we're happy to welcome her back for season two. And this week, we also welcome Ryan Hunt, Business Banking Manager with Scotiabank, who will help our contestants with a very important financial perspective. Earlier, the contestants drew numbers for their order of appearance. So please, make your pitch. These are spice blends which are inspired by the various cultures, the various trading nations that have come to our shores in search of spices to season their own foods. All the exotic spices that are now represented in the particular combination of flavors that are existing in these bottles. So literally what one can do is take the flavor of the Caribbean and shake it out of the bottle anywhere in the world. So I'm looking for the opportunity to invest and expand my product range, make it available to people everywhere, just with some minimal amount of money, $150,000 is what I'm looking for, to establish a foundation on which we can leap into the rest of the world, into the region, into the rest of the world. So what's your plan to make sure that the business can expand because you have the human resources. So what's your plan for training and so on? I have um, a rudimentary, if not um, approach to, to managing business. I call myself the creative director. So you bring I'm the ideas person. In. But to bring in resources. At the moment, we subcontract the production of these, to an out we outsource the production. None of this is in house. Oh, okay. So we subcontract the production. This is why I said it's so easy to recreate anywhere in the world. I came to this business because of a health crisis. Um, I was facing back surgery and possible paralysis, or I was told, lose some weight. So I managed to get to grips with that concept and have developed over time a natural range of products that are sugar-free, salt-free, and gluten-free, and delicious. And, um, and use these products to maintain a 120-pound weight loss. Why Weight has come into the market with new products, and I have two products that are currently in all Massey stores, and one of them is also in the Tamarind Sea at the Grantley Adams International Airport. I have the sesame mousse, which you can see in front of you, and I also have a green smoothie, which is an unusual drink. Um, I also sell at farmer's markets. We will find other products in the Y weight range, such as breads, biscuits, pickles, and seasonings that are salt-free and sugar-free and gluten-free. Currently, most of your business is driven by Massey stores? No, by the markets, by the farmer's market. And do you have any specialized training in the um, creation of the foods or weight loss? Other than personal experience, um, I, I do also want to use the money to do some um, training in herbal medicine and functional medicine. We've created an edutainment space that welcomes small minds and gives new meaning to reading. 30 plus local students and one international student have taken on the challenge to become more active readers within the first five months of our business. Our three main revenue streams are reading tuition fees, storybook commissions and storytelling contracts within primary and public, sorry, and private primary schools. Reading is a fundamental human right, but afford the next generation to be edutained in an environment that redefines the way they read, think, create. Will you afford them this right? Then bank on me.
I'm inspired. I'm inspired. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Excellent. Very good presentation. Very Thank good you. presentation. Okay, How many people do you have currently? With, yes, with you. Uh, not the students, but I have one other. assistant who is 11 years old. Wow. So <laughs> far. But but you know, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> the strength of your business yes. is your passion. I mean, unless you have people like you who mm -hmm. can drive that passion, right. it's going to be tough to get kids to read, to inspire them, as, as, as good as the, the um, information may be. Right. What we want to do is to bring people on board who can help spread this passion around and solve a need. I'm in business now for 19 years. It's a retail art and craft business. I do some of my work with the help of one sales assistant. I sell my work at other locations, like Paul Saints Fish, um, Fish Bay Garden, and some of the major festivals on the island. The advantage of my parts so that they're unique and they're original, and the funds that I'm requesting is like $290,000, and that's for a period of five years. You're projecting sales of $33,000 for next year if you get an investment. Mm -hmm. Convince me, why would I want to invest $290,000 in your business to sell $33,000? That's why I was very in the last year. But well, for the future, I will have, I will have more product lines, more designs, like bookmarks, masks, postcards, paintings and prints. And the, the, the cost is, is for a period of five years. This, um, most of it is like a rental and, and um, expenses like credit card machines. Do, do you have any examples of your products with you? No. Uh, okay. Color Coded provides makeup application services for individual, commercial and creative needs, including but not limited to weddings, special events, ads and shows. In addition, our diverse team provides airbrush, face paint, hair and wardrobe styling. After many requests for classes, we were encouraged to share our knowledge and techniques with others. We are very passionate about helping others, whether through making their look a little bit more polished or wanted to start a career in makeup. Our main goals, to launch a full retail operation, to offer a wider selection of classes and to take our services to other Caribbean islands. We have many innovative ways to expand our three revenue streams, so we ask that you buy on us. us. How big is your team? But as it stands, we have about seven or eight people in color-coded shirts. So we sell from foundations, eyeshadows, any of those things, right down to um, cases for actual makeup artists and products, tools that they will need to actually do their work. It's a good business. I, I, I will let you know that right off. But the 75, later on in the program, you have to probably look at, Bump it up. at that. Definitely. We have no problem again. with that. Because I follow you guys on Instagram, so I know. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> I, I follow you as well. <laughs> Our core business is transportation of disabled persons. This idea came right after I was sent home from a job um, where I worked over 20 years. Currently, Blessed Rentals has three wheelchair vehicles which cater to their needs. We also cater to private persons who need to do therapy and we also cater to visitors who come to the island and need to be transported. That they're persons who query first if there's transportation in Barbados before they come. So here's an opportunity now for us to add value to our tourism market as well. I have imported another wheelchair vehicle which I'm going to put into hire. I've already had four requests for these vehicles and of the thousands of hired vehicles in the island, there are none. So money will be the first. I'm imploring you to bank on me because this is one of the many growing niche markets in the island. Thank you very much. Excellent. Excellent. Good presentation. Excellent. 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 Great. And I, I, um, I'm one of my companies, we deal with transportation, we deal with um, a lot of high-end clientele coming from the airport and we do need um, a facility such as yours. I love your niche market and um, I think your business will do very, very well. I'll tell you what else I like, man, your, your personality, because obviously if you're not business, you have to be caring, you have to be, you know, yes. a, a, a you personality. You genuinely care for people. Yeah, really. you seem to be that. that I've told my driver yeah. that. If you don't genuinely care, you can't work for me. A look behind the scenes and the remainder of this episode's pitches, next.
Before we get to our final group for today, let's see how everyone's doing. For me, it was just an, a remarkable experience, you know, because it's offering me an opportunity to not just only market my product, but to focus my business interests. I was really impressed with the interest that the judges had shown. Okay. And um, I'm very happy. The feedback from the judges, the presentation itself, it was an awesome experience. Um, it went really well. Um, the judges are nicer than you think. Yeah. <laughs> They're not like the ones on the Shark Tank one. Well, maybe not yet. Everyone's ready. So please, make your pitch. We are a full-service lifestyle and destination management boutique, specializing in the conception, coordination, and conclusion of events weddings, concert services, and leisure lifestyles. Enjoy a leisure lifestyle with your choice of a staycation, tour, safari, catamaran cruise, arts and culture, fitness and lifestyle, or recreation and sports activity. Submarine cruise? And submarine tour. <laughs> <laughs> so Nicole, exactly where, what stage is your business at right now? Initial stages. All right, and what would you use the initial, the, the funding that you're looking for, what would you use it um, to do in the business? International marketing and to develop our proposed products and services. What's your background, Nicole? Do you have any expertise in this area? I did the event management course at the UWA Open Campus. However, I have no experience in the concert or the tourism sector. So you're very boldly going out there as a young entrepreneur, and that's yes, brilliant. I am. Established 11 years ago, we teach keyboard, rhythm, guitar, bass, guitar, drum, steel pan. The school caters to individuals, families, and churches. We have 13 qualified tutors who will take you from beginner right up to intermediate level. And we accept from three years old up to 80 years old. We have 15 year olds who have been playing keyboards for 10 years. And in another five to 10 years, they will be at international standard. No surprise has to the potential to take our successful business plan here and take it into other regions. And I urge you, let Barbadians play their music, achieve their lifetime goals as you bank on me. Your funding that you're seeking is to take you to what, what's the very next stage for you? We need to take our marketing over to the next level because I think that we're one of the better kept secrets in Barbados. But one thing that I will, I will beg of you is that when you're teaching these kids music, try and teach them how to market their skills mm -hmm. and themselves because we have a lot of starving artists out there all right, who are extremely talented and don't know how to earn a living. So if you can incorporate that into your program, That's I think you've had a, a, a solid winner there. Yes, okay, I'll let you come and teach that one. <laughs> <laughs> Today, Connecting is here to showcase its Caribbean search engine to excite you to bank on me. The name of our Caribbean <coughs> search engine is caribsearch.com, and this is Carib with a K. And with its launch, we will be able to connect the Caribbean via our own online Caribbean network and within our own Caribbean marketplace. This will enable us to promote our goods and services to be seen and found easier on the World Wide Web, simultaneously allowing us to reach a larger and wider market base. Your revenue stream would be from what? Ads or people have to pay to be on your, um, on your site? How does that work? Both, sir. True registration fees and advertising. What's your marketing plan to get the name of Connecting Caribbean or Carb Search out there? Uh, we will be utilizing most of these social media platforms and um, news, news media which will be um, advertising in newspaper, radio, and so on. Why, why, why K? Carib with a K. Any, any particular thing? Is uh, the, idea is, you is, like? the idea is to be unique. How would I find you right now? What would I type in to find you up on, in, in the first page, top 10? Uh, by typing in caribsearch.com. Shaggins was established in 2009. We carry a wide range of body care products such as luxury bath salts, bath gels, body mist, manicure, pedicure, scrubs, and eye pillows. We personalize our products to meet our customer needs. 
Our vision is to supply more local companies and seek to enter the international market because we know that when we get into the international market, this will bring foreign exchange to boost our economy. So Cheryl, you see that you'll be selling these products exclusively from your place or you'd put it to all the spas and beauty salons in Barbados. How would you do this? Okay, well, we have a shop at home. We're also into hotels, gift shops, you know, we supply even for weddings, you know, birthday parties, etc. Mm -hmm. How much would one of these cost? Ten Barbados dollars. But how, how much volume can you do right now? Well, right now we're doing like two to three hundred volume of the body mess. Per, so you could say like in two months time. As a young person growing up, I lacked guidance. As a result, I made poor choices which led to undesirable consequences. To date, this problem still exists. In fact, just this week, two different entities and the media call for guidance in both schools and homes. Today, I present to you a solution, Roundabouts of Life. Roundabouts of Life marries life with a journey, and this journey is around Barbados. It therefore makes it an exportable product, which can bring in much needed foreign exchange. Roundabouts of Life is not only a game, as you can see through the cards, it has little nuggets of wisdom, Choices and consequences are found in the cards, as well as encouragement to persevere. Judges, banking on roundabout of business, a roundabout of life, is banking into our future. I now invite you to bank on me. I think your packaging is great. It's awesome, I think so. Your packaging yes. is beautiful. As you can see around the, the board as well, we do have um, places of Barbados of interest so that when people visit here, they will be looking forward to it. To it. And what we have done is, as, as when we are traveling and we see a sign saying around, um, a roundabout coming up or bending the road, that at least prepares us for the shock. This is what the game is all about. When we first began, we focused primarily on graphic design. However, our main source of income became the production of our graphic tea brands, for which we have three. Anime Love, The Culture, and Odd Boy. Odd Boy is our most flexible brand. It is also the flagship brand of Azure Studios. The brand has grown tremendously within the past two years. In 2013, we added snapbacks to our line of merchandise, which already included t-shirts and pinback buttons. We also plan to venture into other forms of apparel, such as the sock hat and the jacket and wear. You buy the blanks and then print them? Is that what you do? Uh, we, we design them, we buy the tees, and we got them printed at our screen printer in Wilty. So none of it is done in-house? It's all... Uh, no. Well, all yeah, except for the design itself. So. Yeah, except yeah. for the design. The gentleman, this looks is cutting edge. You know, the design, even the logo, you know, the, all your designs are very fresh, very mm -hmm. modern. Um, so I think just to get your name out there now. It's very current, very cutting edge, and I might actually be using y'all going forward for a couple of things. Yeah, <laughs> love that. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Hadn't heard about you before, but I did see this logo okay. on somebody somewhere. Didn't quite know how to pronounce it, <laughs> yeah. so you may have to put some phonics next to it. Odd, odd boy, is it? Yes, yes it is. Okay. We are a multi-service company which offers graphic design, photography, and makeup. With our graphic design, we also subdivide into logos, business cards, flyers, we also do t-shirts, and so much more. Our photography, we focus primarily on newborns, maternities, events, including weddings. And with our makeup, we focus on studio and everyday wear. It's all about convenience and value. We want to capture those special moments. We want to capture your vision from start to finish. It is our passion, it is our love, and we're here to serve you. And this is why we feel you should buy on us. Thank Good you. Good presentation. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Well done. What's your next step in this business? Well, we are looking to take on a few strategic partnerships, whether it's event coordinators, a few hotels. We are looking to eventually take this company regional and global. Both of you are currently doing this, correct? Why is it that there's no income stream? You're not earning a living from this? Well, we are still in its infancy. Um, I'm into it full time. I'm cleaning as much as she can in terms of, I guess, she'll be more part time. 
but we're looking to take it to the next level. We have a financial advisor and she has given us a three-year projection and we've already surpassed the first quarter for the expectations. It's been said that behind every door, possibility awaits. How much possibility depends on which door you open first. Every day, we help our customers discover the possibilities in their lives. It all starts with a conversation. Scotiabank, discover what's possible. Judges, what did you think? It was Excellent. great, but great. tough. Yeah. Uh, tough great choices. Hard, hard job for you all then. Yeah. Yes, for sure. Very, very difficult. difficult. They made it very difficult. Yeah. Well, we Absolutely. want to say thanks to our judges, Eddie Abed, Shelley Williams, Richard Haynes, Roseanne Myers, and Ryan Hunt. Join us next week for the final auditions and to see who advances to the 12. Remember, if you have a favorite contestant, go to Facebook or the website and vote for the People's Choice. Bank on me? Absolutely. Absolutely.